for those who love to travel, can you please raise your hand? Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Chong Yang. I'm from Group 20. Today, I'd like to talk about vacation recommendation to all of you, which is Tokyo. First, I'll tell you some of the places that you should visit during a trip. Then, I'll name you some of the food that symbolize Tokyo. And lastly, I'll suggest you some of the accommodations. Now, let's go to explore more about Tokyo. First, there are many attractive places in Tokyo. I will suggest you some of the places that are really popular and worth the trip to all of you. During the visit to Tokyo, it is necessary, it is a must to visit Yunnan Park. There are many well-known museums in Yunnan Park, such as Nation, Tokyo National Museum, National Museum for Western Art, as well as the National Science Museum. Yunnan Zoo, the first zoological gardens in Japan, is also situated in Yunnan Park. Yunnan Park is one of the most famous, most popular cherry blossom spot in Tokyo. There are more than 1,000 cherry trees lining at its central pathway. If you are aiming for this, I would like to advise you to visit Tokyo in the end of March to the beginning of April. Besides, you may have a visit to Meiji Shrine, the most, the most famous Shinto shrine in Tokyo. It is a Buddhist temple in Asakusa. There is a public water tank where you can rinse your mouth, purify your hands before offering a prayer. You can write your prayer or wishes on a piece of tablet before of, sorry, and then hang it onto the prayer walls. Or you can offer some of the yen into a offering box, followed by your words of prayer. Now, we have covered about the attractive places. Let's move on to the food. During our visit to Tokyo, for sure we would like to try out Japanese cuisine. When saying about Japanese food, the first thing that comes into our mind will be sushi, right? Yes. Sushi is a combination of white rice, vinegars, and various, and various types of ingredients wrapped in or on it. Sushi provides our body the required nutrients. As white rice provides us carbohydrates, the ingredients such as tamago uh, is high in protein and the nori as a source of mineral. Besides, Sashimi is also one of the most famous food in Japanese cuisine. Sashimi is a thinly sliced raw food. The most common sashimi is seafood. Normally, it will serve together with soy sauce, wasabi, or ground ginger, depending on your own preference. Now, we have covered the symbolized food. Let's move on to the last part, which is accommodations. During the visit to Tokyo, it is necessary to find a comfortable place to rest after a day of visit. For re regarding accommodations, I would suggest a traditional Japanese inn to all of you. You can experience the Japanese style of stay, which is so much different from Malaysia. It is equipped with tatami flooring and futon bay. However, if you are planning for a budget trip, I would suggest you a guest house in Sekagaya. It is only about 55 to 60 ringgit Marisha per night. It is provided with wireless internet, internet air conditioner, hair dryer, iron, and all that. It is located in a, a strategic area, which is only about 10 minutes away from the train station. In conclusion, I hope that you understand why I suggest Tokyo as, as a place for vacation. I have, I have explained on the places to visit during the trips to Tokyo, the symbolized food, as well as the accommodations. Now, I would like to end with a quote. Traveling, it leaves you speechless, it, and then it turns you, it turns you into a storyteller. Thank you.